Hello friends, this is my screws. They're 30 millimeters long. And I've been putting them in here. Like here, here. And from under, we can see they're sticking out. Can we see this clearly? Take it all under. And then, this is smart for me, maybe, but I had some help of the ancient people. The people making dugout canoes. It was kind of hard for them because I didn't really have measurements. So they drill a little hole in the boat or burn the hole or little with a little metal stick at that at the time. And then let's see how deep it was. And then they could make the dugout canoes equal thickness the whole way around. And now I read about that and I thought, well, I apply it to this. And the Venusel is so easy to work with because I just unscrew them and then I put some putty in it, you know, thicken it epoxy. And now I know how much it's out here. And I grow another piece on that when I turn the boat back. And then uh, that's, then I can shape it. So, Thank you, Peter, and this is from Irwin and Peter to my friends. Bye bye. Hello, friends. So now this is going to be put here. We're going to unscrew this once, and then it's going to cover. So Peter is in a hurry. Thank you. Hello, friends. Still working with the rudder. Now it seems everything is clear. Back here, I can get this thing all the way in between here. And it's been here. And this is to give some space to paint, you know, like bottom paint. And like this. So perhaps both will be tried and tested. And here is like I showed you before. Like the inside. And there's the thing on the blister I put here before so now you just have to shape it okay hello again friends this is Irwin and now I'm happy with the swing of the rudder because now nice and smooth no noise a lot can it swing so many times I did the work but now I'm pleased with how it works. Nice and smooth. Strong, very strong. So this is it. Well, thank you for this. Hello friends, this is Irwin. And now I'm trying to get the good thing between here. So that it doesn't touch us as much work. Because I do a little bit, not to do too much. And then I undo this one and I push it out, get in there and then I redo it. Done it a few times, it's getting better and better. And, but I want it very good. So I keep continuing till I'm satisfied. And the rudder now can turn it out. And interesting, the in here, I did the gluing, took away the screws, and the epoxy came in through the holes. Yeah. Oh, and I take them out and make this nice and smooth, and take away the tiller, and do a little bit work on the inside. So tomorrow I'll have something to do to 